it's time for some more watching videos. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Slap the symbol. And why not bring it back with our Michael Tran, our boy Michael Tran. <laughs> I know last week I said that Paganini performance was the best marimba performance we've ever seen on this channel. Well, this is the best xylophone head cam I've ever seen on this channel. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of The Studio. My name is Adam. It's time for Let's Watch. Thank you so much to my studio VIPs, Robert Utomo, Will Flinner, Marimba Maurice, Ryan Carl, Asuncion Hans, Scott Rader, Greg Harris, Dom's Donnelly Chung, Dean P. Newberger, and Bradley Crowley. Thank you so much for your continued support. And today's featured studio artist is John Donovan. Thank you so much for your continued support. And if you'd like to become a studio VIP or a studio artist, you can go to patreon.com forward slash Adam Tan, or you can click over here. Welcome back to the show once again. Hope you've been well, hope you've been staying safe. It's time for some more watching videos. If you're new to this channel, my name is Adam and I've been making videos about percussion for the last four years. And if you'd like to be part of the family, make sure you hit that red subscribe button below to keep up with my uploads as I upload every single week and hit that notification bell to know whenever I upload a new episode. This week's episode is a let's watch where we watch your videos that you've submitted at adamsandpercussion.com forward slash submit. And next week's video is going to be about how to record yourself on marimba. Now, originally that video was supposed to be today's video, but it's actually taking me longer to prepare that one than expected, and I'll tell you why next week. But it's okay, because in the meantime, we can throw it back to the classics and watch some two mallet flexing. I love head cams. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I love watching head cams on this show very, very much. And the two head cams we have today are probably two of the best head cams you can possibly find. And they're both xylophone head cams, technically speaking, but they have a few interesting quirks here and there. First submission is Boston Crusaders 2018 Anvil Cam. Now, Anvil is a very interesting instrument. It's literally a blacksmith's anvil. And you hit it and it makes an awesome ding sound. And this is submitted by Cole Chisma. He says, Xylo and Anvil Cam from the 2018 Boston Crusaders show called SOS. One of my favorite shows, especially in terms of percussion. This is a great cam from the front ensemble. Now, if I remember correctly, Boston Crusaders 2018 is the marimba spiritual one, the one that takes influence from Minoru Miki's marimba spiritual. So I'm extremely excited to see this. I've always said that I wanted to watch this show in some format, whether it's head cam or full show. So let's watch. Okay, so here's the video. It is entitled Boston Crusaders Anvil Cam 2018 Dominic. Chochi Lostal, uh, uh, terrible at pronouncing names, but that's cool. Setup here that looks pretty intense. It looks very similar to the Michael Tran setup. We got the xylophone, we got two racks of crotales. I'm sure he's gonna turn to the right at some point with some more stuff over there. The symbols, there's the anvil in the corner. It's a very miniature anvil. Actually, one time I played an anvil in university in a piece that a composer had written for anvil and he actually brought in a full-size anvil and it was the most annoying instrument to load into any venue. Anyway, all their stuff is on racks and their anvil looks really miniature, so I'm sure it would have been fine for them. We have uh, marimbas in the front, I think, and we got Shima Daiko, I think that's Shima Daiko, those little taiko drums at the front. And I think I've seen some clips of this where they have bigger taiko in the middle as well. I don't know if this guy gets to play it as well, but we're about to find out. So here we go. It's eerily quiet. When you don't have live performance, it's always super quiet. Bit of a Skyrim-esque entrance. Be so nervous if that was the intro. Oh, nice gong. Here we go, starting with yarn mallets. That's very nice permutations. Hey. Oh, I didn't realize there was a guy with bass drum right behind him. <laughs> that must be so cramped. Okay. Here's the anvil. Here it is. Man, it's such a small stroke and it gets so much sound. And you can see there's like beating spots on his anvil <laughs> from where he hits it. That's cool. 
Two sets of symbols. Nice drum roll. Nice drum hit, I mean. It's a very nice and neat setup. Right, here we go. Yellow mallets. Hey. Oh. Oh. Okay, so he's doing most of the auxiliary stuff still. Here we go. Oh, that was nice. Really light and spritzy playing. Hey. Ah, changing to black mallets. So many different gradings of mallets, that's awesome. Back to the yellows. Oh, I love the harmony. Look at this. These independent strokes are so clean. Hey! Yeah. Whoa, that flip though. That hammer flip. Oh, Anvil Solo! Wow, that triple S slowdown was like perfect. Great stick height, amazing. Ah, oh, he, he tag teams the base jump ballot, that was so clean. That was so clean. Hey! Oh. Yeah. Oh. And tags it back. That's awesome. Wow, these are really fast, really fast switches. Can you imagine if you just screwed up one transition in this? Oh, with the head tilt as well. And another quick transition. Straight to the anvil. Wow. It's really, really sharp transitions, gotta say. He's very calm, knows exactly what he's doing, very well rehearsed. Oh, that conch style, conch style horn. Ah, this, this must be it, remember spiritual. Hi! Very creative reinterpretation. Wow, they fit all the motifs around like marching style runs. That's really cool. All the way to the second. Oh, here it is. There we go. The taco pit. Oh, that's solo. Hey. Nice little spin. They swap places. <laughs> here we go. Ah. Uh, <laughs> ah, <ooh>, uh. <laughs> it is a practice run, so that makes sense. Hey, I love those spins. Whoa! Hit him with the yeah. elbow bump before it was cool. Very interesting take on Tiger strokes. Seems like he's doing, he's intentionally under speaking. Oi! <laughs> yeah, it's always good to preserve your energy if, if it's just a rehearsal, because you're gonna have to do it at least 10 or 20 times probably. Oh, I thought he was gonna play the tiger. What, is that a vibra slap? <laughs> slap the symbol. Very Davey 504 of you. Back to the black mallets. Quick switch to the bass drums. Not sponsored by Yamaha. Man, there's so, so little space to work. And I missed this to the block? Yes. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> I like that. Yeah, he has to keep swapping with this guy, it's crazy. Honestly, right now, I'm more impressed by the mallet switching than anything else. <laughs> it's so quick. Look how many times he switches mallets. It's, I don't think I've seen any other marching performances that switch this often. He really is being made to work like every section. And he switches back. Yeah. Ah. Clear plastic mallets. Back to the anvil. Love that. Love that flip. Man, imagine getting one of these hits wrong. <laughs> That's awesome. Imagine if you got one of those hits wrong and you're like, ah, whoops. That's tense. Gotta hide under the instrument for a while. Now he has to sort of stumble over. That's interesting. Little bit of tam tam roll. <laughs> that was an interesting run. Well, that was like a perfect A flat major arpeggio. <laughs> uh, his changeovers are, and the guy next to him with the yellow shirt, they are so tight. Oh, he even gets to go up to the marimba. Oh no, he's using the shimedago, is it? What an interesting combination. Marimba spiritual, amazing grace, tacos. This show's got everything. This is what happens when you know your scales really well. Look at this. I would never be able to remember runs like that. They were so abstract. Wah. 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 And a wah. <laughs> that brass. <laughs> that brass. <laughs> it's pretty safe to say that Dominic doesn't have to do that much playing that is like full on, but he certainly has to be efficient. Like he has to move between sections efficiently. And he's doing a great job of just being a, not a support, but just like holding down the fort really well from the back. Just super reliable playing. It's a very interesting arrangement. Wow, they even have to cross sticks underneath the marimba. <laughs> okay, well, that was pretty cool. Uh, maybe it's just because I'm used to seeing head cams that go really fast and always have very constant two mallet runs, but this one was very different. He was definitely playing more of a supporting role. And there were a few times where his runs were very impressive and I don't doubt his technical ability at all. It was very nice to see him play so effortlessly. I did also get the feeling that it must have been quite tiring doing this run. Like maybe this wasn't the first run, maybe this was the seventh or eighth run. Uh, judging by the way that they have to underplay their vocal shouts, like the hearts and the hearts were like, huh? So yeah, I'd be interested to see what the full show is like, but that being said, Dominique's mallet switching is insane. <laughs> kind of reminds me of when I was a percussionist in high school, and not only was I not very good at percussion, but there were only like three of us, and we had to play seven different parts, and just rushing between the different instruments. And there was maybe like three changes that I would have to do. This guy did like 30. Very impressive. I'm very impressed at how organized it was. I'm very impressed at how everyone worked together. There were some parts where they were standing literally this close and it didn't ever feel like they were bumping into each other. But yes, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of that performance just now. 
And if you're enjoying the video so far, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. Anyway, the next submission is definitely a two mallet flex. Like it's serious flex. And it's submitted by Joe M. And it's none other than our old friend, Michael Tran. Blue Devils Xylophone Cam 2019. Oh, we're back, we're back. This is the last one of, I think, the holy trinity of Blue Devils Xylophone Cams. Hey Adam, it's been a while since you've seen a Blue Devils video. <laughs> yes, it has. And why not bring it back with our Michael Tran, our boy Michael Tran. <laughs> <laughs> Our penny makes it sound like we own him or something. Of course, there's a lot of crazy runs and the show overall is just amazing. Enjoy. All right, well, we're gonna enjoy this together. Let's watch. Okay, so here we are, Michael Tran, Blue Devils 2019, man. This is, I believe this is the last time Michael Tran plays in Blue Devils because of age out. And this is a setup that feels very familiar from last time. It looks very similar. We got the xylophone at the front, facing the front. We got the MIDI drum pad, which I thought was an MPD, but I was wrong. It's not an MPD, it's something else. A lot of symbols, inverted symbols, which is very cool. Get that conical brassy bell sound. A pedal glock. We have a practice pad. Now, apparently this practice pad was supposed to be a break drum, but they didn't have a break drum for this run through. So they just put a practice pad there. Let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. We've got a rack of quartals and we've got the mallet bag down below. So I'm very excited to watch this. <laughs> it's been a very long time. Michael Tran also uses really good GoPros. I just picked up the snare drum stick, a little bit of the spin. Spin the cymbal, spin a bit of everything. Oh, man, I used to do that sound all the time. That's something I don't miss. <laughs> ah, we got some Smadbeck. Rhythm song. Man, his upstrokes are so nice. I actually really don't like rhythm song, but I'll all forgive it this time. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Damn it, Michael Tran, why are you gonna be so good? Man, he's, he's just so light with the technique. Oh. Flip. That's got to be the coolest way to play wind chimes in the world. We've got a violin in the background too. Awesome. I think someone, some, some of you guys told me that there was violin after the last time I said I've never seen violin before. We've got triangle roll. Man, that brass section. That brass section is pretty epic, you're not gonna lie. Oh! What sound is it triggering? Man, these overhands are. Oh! What is that? That's ridiculous! <laughs> it was the pen spin of the triangle beat up. <laughs> I never would have thought of using triangle beaters on Kratos. That's very interesting. Oh man, oh, the spins are so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. More spins. Can never have enough spins. That was an epic snare solo, by the way. <laughs> wow! Man, this is so quick.
that modulation though. What? Wow, those symbols sound awesome. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Those symbols sound so good. I think they're super they're on super tight so they don't resonate. That's cool. Michael Tran, man, he's, he's not overrated, all right? The hype is real. He's, he knows what he's doing. Yeah, you caress that wind chime. You caress that wind chime. <laughs> man, is everyone in Blue Devils a beast or what? This is just awesome. Stair feature. I really like this arrangement too. It sounds cool. I think we went from rhythm song to this. Oh yeah, let's go. B flat major, Blue Devil's favorite scale. Oh, I've heard this brass part before. Epic trombone slides. Dude, this guy is a master of pen spinning. He would have been a beastly pen spinner in class. So it's got such a great groove to it, this arrangement. And the drum kick guy is an absolute beast. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> This looks like the most fun arrangement ever. <laughs> that was just so much fun. I'm so jealous. And just chucks the mask, he's like, I'm done. See, the thing is like, it's energetic, but it's controlled. Like he's not trying too hard. He's not overdoing it. He just plays what he needs to play and it just sounds awesome. He's having a great time too. Oh, hand on the cymbal. Give it a slap. I really like the metal sounds they've chosen for this. The guitars, those cymbals. It's still ringing as well. So he's not, he's not bashing those guitars, he's just gently playing them. I can tell you, playing quartals is a very sensitive thing <laughs> when it's quiet. Now we're playing with a brighter, brighter tone now. Oh, oh. Beautiful brass, beautiful brass. That's a beautiful brass chord. Wow. And this, he's breathing in time with the B2. Oh, bring it back. We've got some djembe. Who's playing that djembe? What a beast. Ah, oh, okay, it's like triggered electronic drums. Wow, brass mallets. Dude, brass mallets sound so epic when they're fast. <laughs> that run. Oh, what is this? Chardash? 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 I can't pronounce it. What the? Whoa! <laughs> Man, what? It's not over yet, it's not over yet. 
That was just crazy. What was that? That's awesome. Oh, that time signature change was smooth. Hey. Man, how badass does that feel to, to do this? <laughs> This 7-8 feel is so intoxicating. I love it. <laughs> Man, he's so in time. Just right in the middle of the beat. Oh. <laughs> I love the little flips. Can't get enough of his metal flips. That brass, that brass. Brass flex, look at that brass. Sorry Michael, but the brass is something else there. This must be the end. Oh. That was, that was, unbelievable well i said it once and i have to say it again michael tran is really something else <laughs> like the way he plays is not just show offy like big strokes it's really like controlled and precise he was never rushing he was never out of time i know last week i said that paganini performance was the best marimba performance we'd ever seen on this channel well this is the best xylophone head cam i've ever seen on this channel period like just the amount of control the amount of accuracy the beautiful tone that he's getting and he's just so relaxed about the whole thing. And all those little stick flips and twirls, like so neat. And he wasn't twirling like, oh, look at me, I know how to do twirls. I don't really need to say much more about this performance. Let me know down in the comments below, because that was just, wow. That makes me want to watch more videos from you guys. So if you have anything that you'd like to submit to this segment, let me know at asyhabitation.com forward slash submit. Once again, if you enjoyed today's video, please give me a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And please hit that red subscribe button below if you haven't already to keep up with my uploads as I upload every single week. And hit that notification bell as well to know whenever I upload a brand new episode. Next week's episode is about how to record yourself on marimba. And yes, if you want any evidence of how that sounds, you can listen to my brand new album, Hope which is now available on your favorite music streaming platform. Just search up my name or search up Adam Tan Hope or go to adamtanpercussion.com forward slash hope. And I also wanted to say thank you so much for letting this album pass 2000 plays in just under two weeks. I really appreciate it so much. So thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys next week for another episode of The Studio. Good night.